name is Pumpkin Bird, and you were just in Louisiana. Now you're in the Peach State. Welcome to the Queen Series, Chapter 3, Georgia Edition. <laughs> How y'all doing today, man? As you know, it's Kyle Jacko taking the place again. I know y'all like, oh, wow. Hold on, Kyle Jacko, he got books behind him and a candle and everything else like that. Look like you had a Teddy Pendergrass concert. I know it, dude, but it's all right, though. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, I want to let y'all know, the next queen I'm going to bring up, this ambiance you see right now, she, she is like that in my eyes. Her own ambiance is just amazing. Personality is great. Amazing. Beautiful. Before we get ready to show you who this woman is, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for just making this grow. Every time that I sit up here and I think about doing another Queen Series video, doing this, going to this city, this city. I do it all because of y'all. I feel like we are like family. I feel that I always have to upgrade myself like Beyonce. I got to because y'all are my family members. Y'all are my growth. Y'all are my growth. Y'all are everything. Thank y'all for just showing me how I can be a better motivational speaker, showing me how I can secure and look like I want to. I know y'all like that kind. I know y'all do. Y'all don't, y'all gotta hate you know, and um, my cousin, Gerard Gordon, is in there right now. Go watch this video. Don't say nothing about my candle, sir. The candle is real nice. But now it is time to jump into this beautiful, amazing, intelligent queen. So right now, Miss Monica, I need you to come and speak to the people. Let them see your beautiful face. Let them see why the ambiance had to go this way. Go ahead. Take your microphone off me. Okay. Hi, Kyle. How are you? <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am, I can. Same way I hear you on Clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. And thank you so much for having me on here. I really appreciate this. This is really and truly an honor. It's really a real blessing to me because, like I said, when I first got on Clubhouse, you know, you was one of the people, you didn't know where I was coming from. You didn't know anything. And I was like, he just got a powerful voice. And he just, he don't know how to mute his microphone. He just talk real loud. Like he's buttoning in the conversation and everything. But I'm going to tell y'all, Monica saw, she saw the vision. She saw, mm -hmm. like, she didn't know anything about me, but she's like, whatever he's talking about, he's really passionate about. And that one conversation on Clubhouse led to plenty more conversations on Clubhouse, which I don't know about Kyle Jacko. I don't like really social media like that. I really don't. So mm -hmm. I got a Clubhouse invite from a friend from the Queen series of Chapter 2. I never did use that Clubhouse thing at all. Her name is Crystal Wilson. I never used it. And then I said, you know what? When I go to Louisiana, I'm going to use it. Never did use it still. Before I got down there, something told me, just go on there. I went on there and I met Miss Monica, my boy 10K, he gonna build a king series, but I've been knowing him. So he had a group, I say 10K, I'm gonna come to your group. No lie. When I hear Monica talk, I tune in. When 10K talks, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. But Monica is somebody that's very strong, passionate. And hey, I want everybody to recognize her voice. She sounds like the woman from the Tom Jarner morning show. What's her name again? What's her name? I, I think it's Sybil. I, you yes. know, I can't remember. Is it Sybil? She okay. Sounds, you, you hear. She sounds just like it. She don't think she do, but she actually really does. But, <laughs> Miss Monica, mm -hmm. I want you to do yourself. I want you to tell everybody only about your accomplishments and just about your path on being the queen that you are. Okay, sure. Um, well, my name is Monica Hazlip, and um, my background is real estate. Um, I am a real estate broker in Las Vegas. Um, boy, there's, there's a lot to my story. Um, I'm from North Carolina. I was born in Columbia, South Carolina. I have three children, um, 17, 14, and 10. So I'm a very busy mom, but um, I've managed through uh, diligence and prayer and an amazing uh, family support system to be able to uh, balance it all because it is really and truly a balancing act. But I understand the power of legacy. And so that's why I do it. Um, you know, being a veteran in the industry um, for over 20 years, I've seen a lot. I've seen the way uh, Black women are treated in the workplace. Um, and it's not always good. And a lot of times women don't 
um, have a pathway to leverage their power in the workplace because they're working, you know, underneath someone else or they're not valued. And I, and I think across the board, really and truly, um, that is an issue for Black women, our, um, the world seeing our value and what we bring to the table. So because of my experiences, um, I found it important to uh, become an entrepreneur and chart my own course. And so that's what I've done. Um, uh, so I have a real estate development company where we develop wellness communities uh, centered around the eight dimensions of wellness, because we know that 80% of all illnesses, illnesses that are non-DNA related start in our communities. Um, and so, and then also in addition to that, I just launched a, a digital community professional space so that real estate agents and industry professionals can come together and network and refer business to one another and just really and truly build their business. And so those are the things that I'm involved with um, full time. You know, I have other side projects because I'm a hustler, but um, but but <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so that's it. Um, and I don't know if we'll get into this later, Kyle, but I'm, I'm very passionate about women and, and girls, youth in general, but specifically girls, because um, I'm a, yeah, that, that question is coming. Let's believe it. Okay, okay, okay. So that's my yeah, intro. Yes, that's really coming. You know, I got five of them. So, you know, I got four little girls and one son. So, you know, yeah, the kid, the princess is going to be on it. That's happening. All when right, I, I hear it. When I say this word to you, what is the first thing that comes to your mind, your heart, your spirit, when I say strong queen? Give me a description of what that means to you. Strong queen. A strong queen is someone, a, a female, that, um, that knows who she is. Um, she's connected to her core value system. And that core value system is able to do two things. Number one, it's able to refuel and recharge her and keep her connected to her purpose and passion in this world. And number two, it allows her to illuminate all of that love and passion and light into the world to make it a better place. Whether you're doing it on small scale, making a difference in the little girl in your neighborhood just because you smile at her and you know, um, tell her she's pretty you like her dress, or whether you're influencing women across the globe in, um, you know, in, in pointed ways in which they need to hear your message to resonate in order to prompt them to make changes in their lives for the better. And then everything in between. Um, and she never loses sight of her community. You, you cannot be a queen unless you're engaged with bettering your community. And so, um, to me, that's what strong queen means. I told you, man, I told you already, like, you see how sophisticated she is, very beautiful, everything like that. I know, hey, all fellas, if you want to, if you want to speak to her, you got to wait till the end of the video, bro. You got to wait. You can't go no more. If you leave right now, you ain't going to never find her. You know what I'm saying? So you got to wait till the end of the video. <laughs> but, okay. So the next one, I want you to share one are two strong queens that had a very major impact on your life. I want you to say their name and where they're from. If they're here or not, are they, are they not here or they're here? It doesn't even matter. Just go in and tell everybody one or two. Okay. Well, um, the first would for sure have to be my grandmother, Anna Horton. <laughs> um, Anna Harrison Horton, she raised me from the age of seven until I went off to college. And to an extent, she still raises me today because she's transitioned into my mentor. Um, this woman is the most incredible woman that I've ever met in my life. Um, my grandmother was the cook for the heiress of RJR tobacco. So if you've ever heard of cigarettes called Winston's or Cool's or Newport's, this this woman is the heiress to, to that tobacco company. My grandmother was her cook for 30 years and I would see her get up every day and go to work. 
but there was never a day when I got up to go to school that my grandmother didn't um, have a hot breakfast prepared for me. I never went to school without having a hot meal on my stomach. When I came home from school, I never came home to an empty stove. There was always a meal there, even though my grandmother was elsewhere cooking for someone else. Um, she was just an amazing woman. I was, um, she poured into me um, values. She poured into me the importance of family. She poured into me the importance of spiritual spirituality and staying strong and grounded in your faith and never allowing anyone to um, deter you. Um, but more importantly, she poured into me the importance of me finding my own way and um, finding my own path to becoming the woman that I was destined to be. She never stifled my growth. She always encouraged me. And even when she saw that the road ahead of me may not be in my best interest, she would just give me words of encouragement and allow me to pursue my path because it's important for you to, you know, find out what's ahead. But, you know, life is all about evolving and moving forward. And sometimes when we move forward, we fail. But as long as we fail forward, we're still evolving and becoming better people. So um, because of that, she is the most important queen in, in my life. Number two, this, this is gonna be a little bit of an unorthodox answer, but, um, but it's my reality, it's my truth. I would have to combine um, her sisters, my aunts. So uh, Doretha Lyons, who's in spirit, Ollie Mays, who's in spirit, um, Helen Horton, who's with us, um, Doris, sister, <laughs> um, and, and uh, Clara. Um, the combination of my grandmother's sisters, my great aunts, to me, and my grandmother included, is the, the personification of uh, the perfect woman. And when I say perfect, what I mean is perfect for me. Perfect for a role model for me to look at and say, you know what, I see strengths and I see vulnerabilities in all of these women. And I admire that so much. These women collectively are not afraid to assert their, their, their power, meaning uh, expressing what they're really good at, expressing their passion and their purpose. Um, and they're also not afraid to express express their vulnerabilities as well, which I also find power in. So it was through my, um, you know, through growing up and just watching these women, how they were always attentive to our family, how they always knew how to address problems and challenges in our family. They never allowed um, adversity or challenges to shake them. And I just found uh, that to be amazing. They, they're the ones that showed me the true strength of a woman and the power of a, of a woman. While we are feminine and we're delicate and we're like flowers, there's also an innate strength inside of each of us that um, is almost, um, it's, it's, uh, it's like, the, it's like the, one of the wonders of the world. So, um, yeah, so, so I would have to say them collectively would be my second example of what a strong queen is. Okay. You know, it sounds like your grandmother was like the Transformers. They all get together and create one big old fight. Oh, man. They, they were the first to form our family reunion. And it started with just a simple barbecue, like maybe 50 years ago. And it just caught on and caught on. And now, you know, we do it traditionally and it's just, it, it's an amazing, they do all the cooking. Oh, Monica, <laughs> Monica, you eat barbecue? Monica, I don't think Monica eat barbecue. I think Monica has like a little tweezer. <laughs> she pick out the little chicken and eat it like that. I think that's what Monica do. I'm telling you, Did you gotta I go look at her Instagram as well. I don't think she eat no chicken. I think she got some tweezers. And she picked it off with chicken. That's how she eat it. I did tell you I was from North Carolina, right? <laughs> Carolina <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> hey, you've been, you been, you been in Vegas too long. I thought you just eat it like that. Yeah. I'm a foodie for life. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> cool. Hey, right now, as y'all know, y'all been watching this YouTube channel, Home of the Silence. Like you're telling about the grandmothers that transition on, and you know, me as long live Uncle Eddie Ray, long live Trey, and all your family too.
We have a moment of silence every time I do a video because I want to let y'all know this. I know the power I have right now is coming from them, coming from my grandmother that's on my shirt. It's coming from my uncle Eddie Ray, it's coming from Trey. And I know people in your life right now that transition, that's how you're making it every day. Even when you're going through your struggles, you're still making it because they are your guardian angels. So right now, we're going to do a moment of silence, and then we're about to get ready to test Miss Monica's knowledge. You know what's coming up next. So all y'all, join me in this moment of silence. Okay, then, as y'all know, long live Trey, long live Uncle Eddie Ray. And why I tell y'all all the time, to make sure y'all put long live in front of it, I want y'all to put long live in front of it because I want y'all to know, even though they're not here right now, you got to keep on going and striving the way you're doing because they're looking out for you. you do that. You're but Miss Monica, now it's time to test out your knowledge. I have something called the wordplay. This wordplay, I'm going to say, Three words and three words I'm going to say. You got to just expound on it. Just tell me like what it is to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Your first word is going to be two words combined into one. Real okay. estate. Power. What else? You got to expound on You got to give me more than that. Okay. Okay. Real estate is power because it creates legacy. It's, um, it's, it's one of those um, economic tools and resources that we, can, um, that we can use, that we can invest in, that will always ensure that, um, that you, 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 you have ownership in this world and you can leverage that ownership in so many ways. The, the power of real estate is that there isn't just one road to real estate. There's so many roads to it, but once you're in ownership of real estate, you've pretty much solidified your legacy, especially when you learn, it, you learn the, the rules to managing it. Um, it's something that you can pass on to your children and ensure that they're gonna you know, be stable and have income and resources to pull on. So in my mind, absolutely, real estate is power. Okay. I want you to paint a picture for everybody that has never been to the Carolinas. Paint a picture for them why they should go to Carolina, why they should go to North Carolina, South Carolina. Why, why they should go? Because, I mean, the Panthers, the Panthers, they're not good. Cam Newton's not there. So, I mean, I mean just paint, paint a picture for them let them know why they should go to the Carolinas. The Carolinas is um, is one of those fortunate states where you can get everything, everything that you've ever wanted in any destination. So if you want um, if you want mountains, you have the mountains. If you want the beach, you have beautiful coastal beaches. If you want just uh, if you want skiing, you can get skiing. If you want just the flatlands and beautiful green and lush, you have green and lush there. So typically what people travel for, for destination purposes, Carolina has it all. Not, I won't even, well, yeah, the food is amazing. You know, it's, it's the South. Um, we're known for our barbecue, <laughs> Carolina barbecue. Uh, our rivals would probably be Memphis and Texas, but, uh, but definitely, that's right, that's right. But, but definitely, you know, we're in there. So, um, um, and you know what I love about Carolina? It doesn't matter where you go in Carolina, you're always going to be treated like someone's, someone's family member. Uh, you go into a restaurant and the first thing you're going to hear is, what can I do for you, honey? What you need, honey? <laughs> you just feel at home when you're in Carolina. You ever heard that song, Sweet Home Carolina? I it's, heard Sweet Home Alabama. I ain't never heard Sweet Home Carolina. I ain't never heard that <laughs> I think she put a spin on the song herself. I didn't never hear <laughs> Carolina. I heard you know, Alabama. Um, it's just it's a beautiful, beautiful place, and it has it has a lot of um, of everything that anybody would ever want. So, and it's home to me. So, yeah, near and dear to my heart. Yeah, I like how you plug that in, and nobody knows that nobody knows about <laughs> Carolina. It does. Okay, now I got songs for you. This okay. is a special one to me. It's very special. 
when I say this name, what okay. comes to your mind? Kyle Jacko. What comes to your mind when it comes? It's a very, it's a very famous emotional. Sometimes okay. I want to cry when I hear that name. Like, what comes to your mind when you hear that name? Okay, a uh, bright spirit, bright spirit. You are so, um, you are so bright. You know, um, and I know we're going to get into this later, but you. I understand why you are an extension of one of the queens that that I want to talk about later. Um, your spirit, Kyle, is so authentic and it's so bright and it's so radiant. And um, unfortunately, we don't get a lot of that in the world today. You know, um, because of all the noise and the ills and the um, the pains that are so sensationalized in media, in music, in, in industry, you just don't get to tap into people like you that often unless, unless they actually know you, you know, unless you've made contact. So I remember the first time hearing your voice on Clubhouse and thinking, man, you know, this, this, guy's, this guy's energy like supersedes um, everything in the room it's you know you you're just you're a powerful powerful force that's that's what Kyle Jacko is you're a powerful force force because of you lead with your heart and your intention is made and it never wavers and so um so that's what I think and and I and I so admire you I admire your um I admire your tenacity I you know, I've heard bits and pieces of your story, but just because I'm, I'm able to connect with you on a spiritual level, I know that you've gone through trials and challenges and adversity. I know you've talked about, you know, the loss of your friend and even through it all, you endure and you endure and you do it with a smile. And not only that, but you do it for the people. What you do is not self-centered. What you do is not for you. It's not about you. It's about giving. And that giving energy is God energy. And so that's what I think of when I think of you. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all something. Monica don't never say that like that on Clubhouse. I don't <laughs> understand. She don't never say that like that on Clubhouse. Like, she don't say that like that, but I'll be okay. Now she got me crying on camera and stuff like that. <laughs> but thank you. I, I am like this because of this woman that's on my shirt. My grandmother had she never wavered from who she was. Like, mm. she never did. She gave out clothes and stuff to people. She had a club. My grandmother had a strip club called Kitty's Club. That's right. Real club. That's Real right. Club. Nothing wrong we with that. My, we had my graduation party there. That's my home right. Home. I'm going to say, man. I'm say let's, go, let's go ahead and get off of that one right quick. Hey, thank you. Hey, Ms. Monica, do you want to know what you want since you won the word play? You want to know what you want? Oh, I won word play? What did yes, I win? You, <laughs> you want Denzel Watch to come knock at your door and take you out to eat more, okay? Let's go. Wait, Let's do it. <laughs> wait, wait for his wife to be there first, though. <laughs> she can come, too. She's an amazing woman. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you know, history is always important. You know, we are nothing without our history. Without That's our right. history. You know, we started this, this Queen Sarah Chapter 3. But you know, before we started that, we had the Queen Series chapter two. So mm -hmm. I want you to tell these people right here, if you can meet this woman from chapter two, whoever you pick, what is her name? What did you think about her? Let everybody know who it is. Absolutely. And and I'm gonna um I'm gonna need your help with her last name, but Terry, is it Rhodes? Last Terry. name is Jacko. Terry Rhodes Jacko, yes. Terry Reed, Reed, Terry Reed Jacko. Terry Reed Jacko. My apologies. Oh, hold on. I okay. see. I told you. See, I see. <laughs> see, y'all playing. You think people don't know about you? You see, I got on the AKA colors. She got on pink. I see. They love you. I'm telling you, that's my baby. Stop playing, I see. You got to come back on the Queen series. Now, see, I see. got me acting out of character right now. But go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and talk about it. Um, this woman of of the you know all the women. Let me just say this first. All the women in um second series were phenomenal in their own right every single one of them but you know um there's an energy in all of us and there's a frequency in all of us and your aunt's energy and frequency just resonated with me um my mother didn't really raise me 
And so when I think of the maternal woman, she, she embodies that the, 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 um, the maternal, yeah, just the, the maternal woman, like the, the, um, the optimal maternal woman, but her, the wisdom with which she speaks and um, the authenticity that, um, that shows in, in every utterance of her word is just so powerful and endearing. And I couldn't turn away. Like I, I watched her series twice, honestly. And the only thing I could imagine was how fortunate you were and her children are to have been raised by such an amazing woman, to have so much, to be led by her faith and her wisdom and to be so um, assured and, um, and sure of herself and her, va her value system, which I don't know, we've never had a conversation, but I can tell she's a very connected woman spiritually and her value system sh just showed, um, you know, through the, through the screen. And I thought, wow, that is one phenomenal woman. And she, um, she just has a, a depth to herself that one could only acquire through challenges, through pain, through, through toil, through, through failure, through, through so much. But when I look at the smile on her face, that smile said to me that she overcame all of it. And not only did she overcome, she came out on the other side more, more powerful and strong and more resilient. And, and she's better for it. She is better for it. And if you want to know the definition of the evolution of a woman, I think Miss um, Jacko is the, the walking embodiment of that. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to tell you all so. Like my auntie, somebody, a lot of people don't know this. When I first came to Georgia, my auntie, she gave me rules. And the rules was she had little girls. So she's like, you have to be in the house by like 8, 9 o'clock. I was coming from Puerto Rico, Texas. She was like, you got to be in the house by like 9 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've done that probably like two times. The next time she was like, all right, I'm telling you, you better be in this house by like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. I'm like, yeah, auntie, what you going to do? I'm your nephew. I come down from Puerto Rico, Texas. She's going to throw me out. Well, the next day, that's what happened. She threw me out. <laughs> but the good thing about my auntie was, I always remember my auntie going to church. My auntie used to have to force me to go to church. I'm 34 years old. Now, I've been a member of Berean Christian Church for three to four years. I, my auntie, she put me out that day, and they called me Rambo because I never turned back. Like, I slept in my car and everything else like that. People didn't even know. But my auntie, she always called and checked on me. She always did try to bring me some food, everything like mm. that. She was like, you want to come back? I was like, no, I'm not coming back. I'm going to stay out here on the road. Until one day, my window got busted out of the backseat of my oh. car. I was like, see, mm -hmm. I might come back. She was like, nope, I told you to come back. But Auntie Terry, I love you. That's why this shirt, right? That's why I made this color shirt. Because she's an AK. So, you know, these are that color. So this is one of the shirts I made in honor of my grandmother, but and I was yes. my auntie, my auntie, she's AK, she loves screaming in people's ears and everything else like that. So yes. that's how it goes. So she's a beautiful woman inside and out. Hey, hey look mm -hmm. at her nephew. Look at her. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I want you to imagine right now that mm -hmm. we have a seven-year-old little girl right here, an eight-year-old little girl right here. Mm -hmm. We have a 12-year-old little girl mm -hmm. and a 21-year-old one. Mm -hmm. I want they are watching your screen right now. What would you mm -hmm. like them to take away from your video? Um, I would like for them to watch this video and understand that it does not matter where you start in life. It really and truly doesn't. And I know sometimes when you're young like that, you're seven, you're eight, you're 12, and even in your 20s, you look around and because of circumstances, you think I'm, I'm starting behind. Everyone else is, you know, ahead of me. They're not where I am. Or you may think you don't, you don't have what you need in the moment. And so therefore you're less than. But I wanna tell you, I was that same little girl. Um, I was a pr product of the foster care system for many, many years. Um, when my grandmother took me out of foster care, 
I um, went into school and because I wasn't prepared, they held me back a year. And, um, you know, and that, that was, that was challenging. And for many, many years, I felt that sense of less than and not worthy. And I carry that. And um, because I didn't know how to articulate that to my grandmother or any other person in my life, it was just a, a weight that I carried inside of me. I held on to it and I, and I allowed those feelings to be my guidepost in life. And it wasn't until later in life that I realized you know, you can, you are the master of your life. You are the master of your destiny. And it's within you to change anything you want in your life. What made me different um, from any other child who, who didn't dream or who didn't imagine or who didn't envision was that I did. I never let go, even though I knew where I was in terms of my physicality, I never let go of my dreaming and my imagination. And I knew that that would take me wherever I wanted to go. And so I held on to that. And while my environment growing up wasn't the best environment um, at all times, I never let go of my, my dreams. And so I worked really hard and I knew that my ticket um, out of that circumstance was through education. So I wanna press upon you, um, never just just stay just stay connected stay connected and um take your education seriously because it's your education that will take you any place you want to go it's your imagination that will take you any place you want to go it's your um the energy that you put into becoming um the the young woman the young girl the the mature woman that you want to be Never let go of that and never let anyone deter you. You may have dreams and maybe you talk about it. Maybe you don't. And when you do talk to people about it, they may call you crazy and say, you can never do that. No one does that. That's crazy. You're crazy. You know why it's crazy? Because <laughs> they don't have the imagination that you do. And they don't have the power within them to dream as daring as you do. So never be afraid to um, dare to be different. Never be afraid to dare to um, evolve. Never be afraid to dare to be authentically who you are. Um, and never, always stay, think about what your, your passion is right now as a child. There are a lot of uh, psychologists and uh, psychiatrists who will talk to people and, um, one of the first things they'll ask them when they don't feel grounded, when they don't feel connected is, think back to when you were a child, when you were seven and eight years old. Um, what did you love? What did you dream about? And so now that you are that age, hold on to that. What excites you? What, what brings you joy? What brings you uh, a sense of purpose? Always hold on to that and never let go and let that be the wings that take you wherever you want to go in life. So that would be my suggestion. <laughs> that was that was very, very good. Matter of fact, while you was talking, um, you done so good on that one. The next question that's probably on your uh, is on your blueprint. We're gonna take that one out. You done so good. I'm hoping that the next queen goes in depth just like that. So one of these questions okay. that coming up just because you so that was life changing for me because normally the blueprint stays the way it is. But after hearing how you put everything together, you said, I'm like, you know what? So please thank her for having one <laughs> less question. Thank her for that. <laughs> but you know, so Monica, you know, you said power, right? You said mm -hmm. I represent power, right? Mm -hmm. Now it is time for <laughs> the motivational prayer. Y'all remember okay. I told you. These motivational prayers are getting created because I love God. I know what God is doing in my life. I know he's letting me see. I know he's letting me become. So as I know this, it's only right that I give it to y'all. And once again, like I said on the last video, all these emails I keep on saying, talk about y'all want to see no more motivational prayers. The motivational prayers ain't going nowhere like your mama ain't going to never leave your daddy. Okay? Hope y'all get that. <laughs> but right now we're going to do Monica. I'm going to let you go first with the motivational prayer. Once you say okay. that, I'm going to do my end and then we're going to go to the next one. 
Okay, all right. Let us bow our heads. Mother, Father, God, we come to you as humbly as we know how, kneeling at the hem of your garment. We know that you know all, we know that you see all, and we know that you are all. We thank you. We thank you for the wisdom that you share with us every day. We thank you for your light that you radiate within us every day. We thank you for allowing us to be extensions of you. We, have, we thank you for the goodness that you instill in each of us to inspire others. We thank you for your majesty. We thank you for your artistry in this world. The sun rises, the sun sets, the gentle winds that blow, the rain that pours, the snow that falls, and the cascades of the clouds that brushstrokes our skies every single day. We thank you for family. We thank you for strength. We thank you for healing. And we thank you for the soldiers that are doing your work on this land every single day. We thank you for Kyle Jacko. We thank you for his drive and his vision and his tenacity and his will to wanna to spread good word and cheer and encouragement and motivation to the masses. Mother, Father, God, we thank you for all of it. And most importantly, we thank you for waking us up another day and letting us experience all that this life has promised and all that you have promised to us if we just live through your word. In your name we pray, amen. God, as I come to you right now, God, I wanna say thank you for just putting everything in Monica's soul, in Monica's life to just make sure that what she does, she uplifts the kings and the queens. She has been a very big thing in my life since I first met her. God, I hope everybody hears her voice, gets to meet her and gets to know who she is so they can feel that same astonishment that I feel when I hear her talk on Clubhouse, when I hear her talk on the phone or just face-to-face -face or on FaceTime. God, thank you for just showing her and keep on just bringing her through everything. Any struggle I know she has went through, she has got through it because of you. God, I want you to keep on blessing all of her family, her kids, anybody that touches and gets in front of Monica's circle. I want them to have positive energy. If they have any negative energy, God, remove them from her life in a positive way. God, right now, I want to say thank you for giving me this vision to do this King series and to do this Queen series, but making this Queen series come first because I know what Queens, they are the purpose they have us first. So we always got to represent them first. Guys, everybody watching this video, I want to pray for them and their family. They get the same blessing. 2021 is their year of glory. 2021 is their year of victory. And all they need to do is put the prayer with the work and always trust your process. Amen. 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 So, the <laughs> next one, I got to wait. I got to wait. We're going to do this. See, okay. with you, Monica, you're going to change up the whole the whole um, Queen series blueprint. <laughs> I'm telling you, people that's over this, I know going to be like, Kyle Jacko, you didn't go in order. Guess what? My name is Kyle Jacko. I go in any order I want to. So <laughs> next what we're going to do is I want to you to give everybody all your social media. Any way they can reach you. And that beeper that you got in your closet, stop holding that beeper, that old 1965 <laughs> cell phone. 1980 cell phone. Let them let them know that beeper number two. She's the only person that still got a beeper. I'm telling you. She looks good, she has a beeper, and she has a pay phone right in front of her house. She don't want to say that. But I'm I'm you, I saw it. <laughs> okay, so so here's the thing about me. Um, um I I I just got connected to social media, so I don't remember all of my handles. But what I have done for the people is I put all of my social media on one site. So um, if you go down in the link in the bio, you'll see a hyperlink that says contact Monica. If you click on that link, it will drop down my business card and it will show you every single way to reach me via Twitter, Instagram, uh, my email, my website. Um, my company site. So 
Remember, contact Monica down in the bio, or you can just type, type it in your browser or even in your phone. As a matter of fact, if you type contact Monica in your phone, my business card will come up and you can save me as an app to your home screen where you'll always have access to reach out to me whenever you like to. So how's that, Kyle? That was good. <laughs> like, okay. I want y'all to know something. Um, Monica might even have a number on there, fellas. So you might need to go check it out. You know, so Monica number might be on there. You know, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Sometimes, you know, it feel like she would give you a business card, but it feel like she was like, hey, I'm here. So I'm just saying, bro, just go ahead and check it out down below. You know, you know I'm just playing, guys. I'll let it do it. But the number might be in there. I'm just saying, it might. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I'm going to say what Jeff said on Clubhouse. Whatever you do, don't hit the dollar sign. <laughs> Hey man, if y'all if y'all have club bottles, let me go to this room it's called Ten K Car Room, man. And we have a ball in there. I mean, all yes, the time. And yes, the same mm -hmm. matter of fact, the same link that she was telling you about. What I'm gonna do right now is for all of y'all. I need y'all to use your phone, and if you have an Android or whatever you have, I want you to go ahead and I want you to get out your camera. It's the first time we're doing it too. Yeah, Monica okay. takes me a whole lot. So, yeah, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot of messages to go through. Still scrolling, Monica. Okay, cool. So, I need all y'all to take out your phones. And we got to take out your phones. I want y'all to hit this right here. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I'm so going to count to with you. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay. We're going to both count to 10 together. Matter of fact, okay. why don't you pull up mine and I'll pull up yours? How about that? Hold on. Let me see. I can't. Mine isn't. Um, Mine isn't capturing. Oh, wait, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I see my little screen. Hold yours up. Yes, yes. I'm about to just promote that the whole time. Right? <laughs> so look, Monica, when I hold mine up and I count and I'm start counting 10, you got to say something because the active speaker is going to go back and forth. Okay. Okay. So when you okay, say so you, okay. So, one, all right. I'm go scanning. Ahead. I'm scanning. It wants to only capture your face, it won't take a. It won't take the QR code. The only thing I got to do is take your phone and point it right at the camera. Y'all okay. take that, y'all better see it. So we get a little okay. closer to y'all. There yeah, y'all go. Bow. Okay. Oh, so, that works. That works. Yeah. It works. <laughs> it works. That's so, so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, that works. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> That's I'm awesome, ready. Kyle. Thank you. <laughs> awesome day. I'm gonna tell you what's really awesome. What's really awesome is I do a lot of videos and like mm -hmm. you're the first person from Clubhouse that's gonna be on this. So that's besides awesome. Renee, Renee is the first one, you're like the second and third one, but okay. this right is real fun. Like it really, really is. So yeah, so you, I, I know, if, if it moved too fast, they can always pause the video with the QR code up and then take time and scan it. And it'll put it my business up. card right on your phone. And remember, don't hit the dollar sign, okay? Because <laughs> the way she looked, y'all gonna spend all y'all bank account. Okay. So, this right here, we're about to do the closing marks motivation. Okay. Before we ready to do that, Monica, you are so okay. beautiful. What we're gonna do is, instead of you talking to the queens, we're gonna let you talk to the fellas. Because I really feel the fellas gonna watch your video to the end. So, mm. I want you to give them some of this positive and motivational for 2021. Because I know one thing about men is this right here. If they have somebody like you in their life, you would tell them to go build a, go build a brick wall down the street. They're going to be having tools and everything else they're going to build. <laughs> so go ahead and talk to these kings out here and let them know something that's possible for 2021. And women, I'm going to talk to y'all. I know y'all like Sammy. So I'm gonna talk to <laughs> um, okay, so a message to the fellas. Um. My message to the fellas is this. Um, keep pushing, keep pushing and don't give up. I know we are going through challenging times right now and uh, there's a lot of hurt. And, um, and I recognize that you guys are um, public enemy number one in the eyes of uh, a lot of people, <laughs> um, but we have your back. Black women have your back. Women have your back. And just don't give up. Understand that there's power in numbers. There's power in family. 
and whether it's your um you know your your fam your maternal or paternal family that you come from or it's the family that you've established for yourself or a combination of both understand that there's power in that and and when you leverage that power there isn't anything that you could you can't do um always remember if you have a special woman in your life whether she's your mother your sister your auntie your wife um always agendize that woman and what i mean by that is make sure she she knows that she matters to you make sure she knows that she's important to you make sure she knows that you're listening to her make sure she knows that she's special um and pour pour into one another connect with your value systems learn what's important to her what energizes her what sparks her and be bold and fearless and vulnerable in sharing what's important to you your value system and while your value systems may not be uh linked it's okay as long as you each are aware of what they are and you're not afraid to pour into one another um there's strength and there's power in that and in these times right now what we all need to be doing is coming together and men we need you you're you're the backbone of of all of this um we cannot do this without you i don't care how many independent i can do this on my own songs or whatever is out there we as women cannot do this without you and we need each other as a community so let's put community first let's put family first and let's learn to invest in ourselves invest in our families and um uh, the last thing i want to say if there are young little girls that you have in your life be the first man that they ever know be the first man to date them and what i mean by that is take them out show them the world take them to a nice restaurant pull out their chair help her place her napkin over her lap before she starts to have a meal open her car door be the first man that she ever knows in her life and set the bar so high that if any other man enters her life he's going to have to work extremely hard to get her attention and she'll end up picking a man just like her father or just like that male role model that set the bar for her so that would be my message to the men i'm sorry phil i know i'm looking just like y'all bro I, she got me caught for a moment i forgot what i was saying oh yeah um y'all have a motivation to speak i got to bring it back in bring it back in my matter of fact next time i can do a video we're going to make sure she close her eyes okay next time she going to go keep her eyes closed and that's what we're going to make sure we give her like a whole bunch of room so her voice sounds like a man <laughs> Please, out there, let me tell you something. No matter what somebody tells you, if somebody tells you at the end of the day you are not worth it, you got to tell them, "But God." When they tell you at the end of the day your hair ain't growing, tell them, "But God." When they tell you at the end of the day you bigger than a house, you better tell them, "But God." I'm here to tell you, you are beautifully made. It's somebody out there for you. Don't let no man, any man. tell you who you are. God know who you were before you woke up this morning. God know how your day going to go. Sometimes as men, we have to grow up. And we we don't grow up. Sometimes we take that out on y'all. So for all the men out there right now, they never done anything wrong to you and make you feel like you're less of a woman. I want to apologize for them cuz you don't deserve it. Queen, you are important. Queen, you are beautiful. Keep on living your life. You better let your half flip and everything else to be doing. You let your half flip in the club anyway. That's another story. But <laughs> The bunch of down challenge is not you. The silhouette challenge is not you. Let's change that. Let's go ahead and get a degree challenge. Let's go ahead and get a house challenge. Let's go ahead and get a car challenge. Let's go ahead and take care of our kid challenge. That's the challenge I got for y'all this year. That bunch of down challenge. I'm telling you, I watch them sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Me and my little boy, that's another story. Though. I watch it. Y'all cool with that? But I'm telling you, I have little girls. I want my little girls to see something like this right here. That's why I'm doing this right now. So like I said, you in your life right now, you don't know where you're going. Let some of these queens talk to you, speak to them, reach out to them cuz I promise you, what you getting from this video, you're not getting their whole testimony. No, no, no. You're only getting what's on this blueprint. What's in their life? 
It's so big, it won't even fit on the blueprint. So I challenge y'all to reach out to these queens. I promise you. But queen, all these fellas that treat you bad or treat you wrong, I'm here to tell you, I apologize for them. Go out there and get your boy ass. You know what I'm saying? Just mm. because that one man treats you wrong, that don't mean you stop just liking men all together. What you do is you find the right man for your life. Matter of fact, my bad. You don't find him, you let God bring it to you. Okay? So, right now, I just want to tell everybody, thank y'all for watching me and Monica. I'm going to try to make a series for me and Monica to do whenever she's not so busy. That Monica will be able to come back in and speak to y'all sometime. Because one thing I know about her, women empowerment is her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I promise you, like, some of the questions, like, none of the questions is gone because she does such an amazing job. So because of y'all, for next year, for chapter four, y'all ain't going to have that much questions because of Monica. Because with me, <laughs> I really don't be care how long the question is. I want everybody to get the nature and the food out of it. But thanks to Miss Monica, y'all questions going to be a little bit shorter. Oh, you never know. I might put them back. You never know. But this year, y'all don't got to worry about it. So... <laughs> Somebody told me something the other day. Pastor Renee told me this. I always say kill him with a smile. Pastor Renee told me this. Mm -hmm. She did a video yesterday. She was like, Jacko, you don't kill anything with a smile. Everything is beautiful in life. You need to say something else. So from now on, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to say, live strong. Mm -hmm. Live like a queen. Live with glory. Live with glory and have a smile. That's what we're mm. going to tell you. That is a thing for this entire thing. This entire Queen series. I told y'all one time before, the Queens helped evolve me. I've been saying killing with a smile so long, it's been a call for it. So now, like I said, once again, live strong, live like a queen, love your glory, love your life, and have a smile on your face. My name is Kyle Rashard Jacko. I'm so glad I don't sell drugs anymore. I can't even say my real name. But my name is Kyle Rashard Jacko. And I thank you for watching. I want y'all to all go support Monica and everything she does. Ms. Monica, before we end this video, what would you like to mm -hmm. tell them? Um, let's see. I just, I'm just so blessed. I am just so blessed. Um, 20, you know, the, the, 2020 and 2021 has been a challenging year for a lot of people, but I will say this is, this is a, a global reset. And so I encourage everyone take this time, you know, we're, we're all in shutdown mode, but it's, but it's not shutdown mode. It's a reset mode. So take this time. If there are dreams, if there are passions, if there are things that uh, you've always wanted to do, but never found that you had the time to do it, now is the time. Don't let this moment pass you by. If you, if you have it within your strength and your health and your mil mental faculties to get out there and make your dreams a reality, now is the time to do it. This is, this is a reset and this is a reset for the world. So take advantage of it and um, never lead with money first. Lead with your passion, lead with your purpose. When you do that, the money will come. That's, that's a given. That's like, you know, what they, they say in math, it's a given. But, um, but when you leave with your passion and purpose, you'll find that you will be able to expand, um, expand your dreams on just some unimaginable scale. Like you can go places where you never thought you could go because passion and purpose are limitless. And so tap into that and, and, and just go for it. Now's the time to do it. And I encourage you all. Okay. Hey, I love y'all. Trust the process. To thou self be true. Now, me and Monica had a good time on this Zoom. Doing this for but Jacko has to do for the video. So, take care. Be blessed. Thank Monica, you. thank you. Thank you one more time. Like, man, that right there was amazing.